Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Once you've decided to start organizing your files and creating new folders, you will want to move files or folders around or copy them to a new location. There is a difference between moving and copying. When you move a file or folder, you place the item into a different location on your computer. When you copy a file or folder, you make an exact copy and then place the copy into the new place on your computer. So when you move a file, it's often referred to as cutting and pasting. When you copy a file, it's often referred to as copying and pasting. And you can cut or copy and then paste files in several different ways. One way to do it is to navigate to the file or the folder that you want to cut or copy so that you can see the files icon within the window. Make sure that you've changed your window size to the restore size so that you can see around the window. Then you can open up a second window and navigate to the folder where you want to paste the items from the first window. Once again, resize the window to the restore size and lay it next to your first window. Then you can simply click on the file or folder from the first window, drag it into the second window, and then drop it. If the files are located on the same drive, doing this will cut and paste or move the item. If they're on different drives, it will instead copy and paste the item. Now if you wanted to copy the item regardless, then simply hold down the control key on your keyboard as you drag and drop the file or folder. You'll notice a small plus sign appear next to your mouse pointer as you drag the item. And this lets you know that it's being copied versus being cut. So just release the mouse button and then release the control key. Now another way to cut, copy, and paste is to simply click on any item in a window that you want to cut or copy to select it. Then click the Organize button and choose either the Cut or Copy commands as desired. Navigate into the folder that you want to paste the item that you just cut or copied, and you can even use the same window if desired. And then once there, click the Organize button and choose the Paste command to paste the item into the current window. If there is a contention between the files in the window, then you get to choose what you want to do. So if you have a file with the same name in this location, you can either move and replace it, don't move it, or move but keep both files, in which case the file that you're moving gets renamed. And you would just click on the choice you want to make. Now one last way to cut, copy, and paste is by simply using the keyboard. In this case, you highlight the object you want to copy, and then press Control c on your keyboard to copy it. If you want to instead cut the object, press Ctrl plus X on your keyboard. To then paste the object that you just cut or copied, navigate to the folder where you would like to paste the copy or actually move the item, and then press Ctrl plus V. The paste command works the same to paste objects that are cut or copied. So that's just a different way to do it using keyboard shortcuts. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!